Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, it looks warm, but it still feels cold um, in Spain. Uh, guys, today a very cool TA video with five amazing charts. You really need to see those. Um, I will th walk through them step by step, but you will really like what I saw on the charts. Now, let's quickly jump into it. Yeah, like, maybe also be in shock, but we'll give you a confirmation. Now, let's quickly jump into them. Yeah. First chart, four hour. Of course, always starting with the four hour. Again, this is the Bam Bam indicator on the Oryx platform. Like you can see, a long flag was a correct one. The short flag on the four hours also a correct one, depending on your um, risk profile, you take it at the short or when you close down below the stepping line, both of the situations you would be in profit. And yes, the short flag could also be an exit point of that long. Uh, if you want more information, go to the bitcoinfamily.com, um, how to trade the Bam Bam indicator. On this chart over here, this is also the four hour chart, but this one is with the logarithmic growth curve. Uh, what is again the logarithmic growth curve? I need to zoom out. Um, if you zoom out a little bit more, Didi, um, you can see this curve going up there. Um, in this curve, this is, is, is created out of, out of um, Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see that we are finding support on that line over there now. Um, I'm showing the four hour, but the curve is on the weekly chart, so that's why it looks a little bit strange. But we kept support on this line, kept support on this line, we broke that line, but we came above, a uh, above it again. And now we are again finding that level as support. So I think um, it's a very important point to find support. Yes, we need to close above 38,900 or 39,600, for example, with a day candle to be in full bull mode again. But at least this looks a little bit bullish to me. Okay. Now, um, if you want to trade all this, guys, uh, then please do that using these exchanges. Buy a bit over there is $4,100 bonus plus 30% discount. Okay, X, you get it up to a $5,000 bonus and all these other bonuses as well for trading. Use them as you can use that money for extra leverage, etc. on trading. Um, so why not? Why give away free money? Just take it. Now, here we have um, the day chart. On the day chart, we can see these levels a little bit zoomed out. Uh, also, you see the Bam Bam indicator again. And yes, also here it was pretty correct um, if you look at the movements because um, let's say it like this. You could have bought at this level, 37,200. You could have sold at this level over here, 43,400. So that is like uh, ooh, 30, there's all $6,000 profit. And then you could have been buy, buy, be buying back around these levels, 38,000. So, and then there will be another short. So also on the day chart it works. Um, we can see that we see resistance in this level there of 38,400. That is the yellow line. <clears throat> if you zoom out, you see why the resistance is there because it has been resistance for a big period over there, support over there. So we will take some time to break that, but we need to break it. And then we need to go above it and we go for the next level 41K but in between is 39,600. And I think that's the level that we need to uh, close uh, a daily candle, for example, above to become real, real bullish. Also, these candles uh, have long wicks to the bottom, which means that the market wants to go up. Something is holding it back, but there will be a moment, I think, uh, when it goes up. You know, look look at these candles over here, long wicks, longer wicks to the bottom. And, it sent, and at the end, Finally, Bitcoin broke out. We see the same pattern at the moment, so hopefully we can another a lot of time break out. If not, we fall back, in my opinion, to this green level over here, 34,600, um, which was that downward trend line that you can't see at the moment because the EMA ribbon is on the green line over there. That could be, again, that we've tested the support, the level we fall back to. But let's stay positive. If you want to have a little bit more uh, help for free, then just join the GTGAR. That's our free indicator. You just need to walk through five steps. I will show them in a minute, but then you get all these, this information on your charts. And to show you, for example, how it works, it's like a traffic light. We have over here, we have green, orange, red. That's how the traffic light works. 
Green is an indication uh, you might need to go into a long or buy. Uh, orange is a confirmation of that. And then red is the real moment that people say, okay, the, the confirmations are there. We are already going up, so this is going to continue. And it did continue. Like you can see, uh, that was a nice trade. Even if you would have taken it very late here on the candle, um, that you could have stepped out here at the next green candle, a little bit lower. So that's 1.8% on the one hour uh, chart. So that's a nice lev with leverage, a nice profit. Uh, the other way around, it works as well. Now, if it skips a candle, like for example, green to red without orange, that means there's a you have volume to the downside that we will turn around the market and go down. You could have understood that over here and that was a huge profit over there again. So really cool. If you want to get access to this one, um, then please go to the bitcoinfamily.com. On the bitcoinfamily.com, you will find all the information, products, and then the, down, the bottom one is GT GAR. And if you want to have that one, you need to do um, five simple steps. You need to become a YouTube family member, um, Discord, sorry, YouTube. You use the link to sign up to Bybit. You follow us and you fill out the form and that's all. And you get access to that amazing free indicator. Now, let's quickly jump into some more amazing charts. These are these. This is the first one, guys. I found this chart on Twitter. Crypto Sahin. This uh, shout out goes to him, of course. And this is the chart. And you can see his Twitter handle over here in the top. Crypto Sahin. Tas. Um, very simple. You have the purple box is the Bitcoin halving. Fibonacci level 0 0.5. You have the yellow box. Fibonacci all time high um, is at 1.6. And the red box is the all time low. And then you have the trend based Fibonacci extension with the purple um, like a purplish red triangle. Now, if you look at this chart, you can see that we uh, had always these two tops here, one and two, blue and yellow. Then we had red, that is then the all time low. Then again, the purple one, which is the halving level, two tops, red, purple one. Now we had one top. We had one top and the RSI didn't touch that red box yet. So does this indicate we will get a second top and then go into the red box? Because the RSI, if you look to the previous two halvings, the RSI didn't go that low um, into the red box at 44. Also here it went. So that was the bear market. Here we didn't yet. So will this RSI curl up and make that second top and then we bottom out in that red box? That is what this chart is telling you. And if you look at the levels, then you can see that the uh, 1.6 level here, that was always the top. The 1.68 level, again here the top. The 1.618 level at the moment, we didn't reach that top yet. And that top that is, you know, uh, way above 100,000 US dollars. So let's say 150,000 US dollar. So do we still need to have that push to that 150,000 US dollar so that we again reach that Bitcoin beautiful top and that also the RSI plays exactly out as it played out before. And if you look at the Fibonacci trend based uh, extension, you can see these triangles, of course, over here, then that could be uh, a definite uh, play because, you know, it's all in line with the numbers that we saw in the previous bull runs. It's only extending a little bit. So let's see if this chart, but I really liked and wanted to share it. Now into the next chart. This chart um, shows you something um, really cool as well. This is a little bit more zoomed out. What is this chart showing you? I, I really like it. This is the Bitcoin halving regression index uh, with, with the prices on the chart. So you can see that the halving, and this was the first time we went you know, times 64, and then we only went times 32, and we only went times 10, and now we are, the top is times five. So maybe the next top will be like times two and a half. But even if the next top would be times two and a half, we would be touching a 100K life line. Sorry. So, and uh, maybe even the 250k line, because if you look at how the charts um, play out every time again, let's draw a little bit, then if that would be the top now, then, you know, there would be a movement to the bottom, to the top, to the, and then the next halving would reach over here, and then we would go up again in the next halving to create another top, that's over around two and a half, 
you know, and then again this, this, and then maybe again like up, bottom, you know, and then another halving with a lower top to here maybe, and then then something like this. You just this is drawn by hand, but you can see um, this top was higher, this top then became a little bit lower, this top, oh, then this top again is a little bit lower, and then this top is again a little bit lower, but these tops are touching the between the 100k and the 250k line and here between the 250k and the um so they are touching i need to say it like this because else you can't follow me <laughs> i think um so they are touching here between the 100k and the 250k line here between the 250k and the 500k line and um, but then we are already in 2030 so you, you honest i hope you understand what i'm saying we see lower tops and even if we continue to see lower tops, we will eventually reach the 100k to 250k to 500k, even to a million dollars in the far future. <coughs> now, breathe, <did> he? <coughs> really amazing chart in my opinion. I will delete all that so that you can um, see it for yourself. Then we have this one, which is telling us the same. Uh, this is the Bitcoin halving price index. I think my face should be placed over there now. Um, here we were way above 64, here we were almost to uh, 32, um, at the moment the top was only, only till here, uh, we are now at the 4.4 level. The blue line represents the line that, um, you know, where the, where the first halving ended, so the first complete halving from 2012 to 2000, um, like from block 0 to block 210,000, that's how you say it, it's very more easy. We ended at 54 times, and the red line ended at 13 times. We are now at 4.4 times. So if we would continue in between these lines, we could end up all the way between 137,000 and 500,000 at the next halving. If we end up lower than these two, so this one there, this one there, and maybe so 54 13 so let's say this one comes over here uh, then we could end up at 34,368 um, i don't see this happening as the first part of this white line was in between the red and the blue one and we came down below it but i think we will end in between them again so it's a different bull market but i think we will end in between it and that would be in the long term uh, a price between 100k and uh, 600,000 US dollars, like you can see over here. Really cool information on these charts. Now, um, do I have other news? Yes, I have other news. This one, and uh, this one is very important. Why is this important? eBay is now considering payments via crypto, it already accepts NFT trades. This is the CEO of eBay. eBay is going to accept it. Um, another very bullish news is this one. Without Bitcoin, he wouldn't be there. A man who fled Ukraine before the government closed the borders. Because of the Bitcoins he had, he could cash $600 and um, reach Poland and, you know, provide his family of food. All these practical events are showing why Bitcoin is important. And if you want to see really why Bitcoin is important, then you take a look at this chart and then people will probably understand it. You know. Every one of these assets carries a monetary premium that we defend with human lives, war. If it is real estate, if it is gold, if it is oil or equities, they are all defended by war, by military rule of war, this one over there. If we look to Bitcoin, <clears throat> this is not defended by war, this is protected and defended by electricity and code. So, by transposing their monetary premiums into cyberspace using a digital synthetic commodity called Satoshis, you replace the cost of human life with the cost of an electricity bill for defending our wealth. So <clears throat> this again shows that defending your wealth could go in a very peaceful way instead of all the wars that we are creating to defend our wealth. So number three is saying not having to waste human life to defend monetized wealth is worth every what. Yes, why are we killing people over money when we should be uh, introducing this completely decentralized new monetary system that we don't need to kill people over gas, oil, or any other asset 
asset guys now that was everything for today i damn hope you really enjoyed today's video uh, again a little bit longer uh, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about this video today we will uh, tomorrow i won't make a video or it will be later when we arrive in the ski area but uh, i will keep you up to date thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam